Hello humans, my name's Simperfect and this is The Sims 4, as always, going to be a quick build of a desert moon themed starter home. It wasn't actually my intention to make a desert moon themed home, but I was messing around, had a few failed attempts at recording this video, and then I came up with this kind of shape idea. The main thing with the starter home I find is um, shape is quite important. Um, especially if you've got more than one person. In this case, it's going to be a house for two sims. Um, not in a romantic relationship, it's siblings. So they want their own rooms. Um, but then you need to be quite efficient with how you lay out the house so that you've got enough space. So I came up with this idea, a, a central square with that dome and then bits building off it. And only after that did I see that actually it looks a bit like some kind of space pod type. A quick build um, house type thing um, and then eventually with the color scheme it started to look like a desert and then I thought Tatooine because I'm a nerd and so we've kind of got a Star Wars-y ish house this isn't like a replica of, of like Luke's uncle's house at all but it's um it might fit somewhere onto a desert world of some kind. As I say, completely wasn't my intention. And actually, the sims who are going to move in here, I built this house for um, two sims that a uh, one of my subscribers, Yuki Kaiser, kindly offered for me to use in um, in this world. And so I moved them in. They're called Sophie and Jordan Lola. I believe you can find them on the on the workshop, it's not called the workshop is it, I always get that wrong, it's the gallery of the sims, and yeah, I'm going to move them in and hopefully they'll be friends with my pair, um, designed specifically with the gender customization options in mind. So you'll get to see them later, at the moment I'm fiddling around trying to make it that central space not too square, so we have a bit of a jutting out section. Oh, let me tell you, I did so many different versions moving toward this. There's probably about three other kind of houses on this plot. Uh, the house doesn't end up staying on this plot because I wanted the desert thing to come through. Um, so you'll see me move it a bit later on. I'm a bit obsessed with these metal roofs. I think they just look good. And then trying to get onto this desert theme, the windows I'm putting in are quite jutted quite close to the house it's a bit it's a bit unusual looking it's a bit maybe sci-fi but also I think it would be quite practical in a desert um, to have your windows protected in that kind of way by having them in the corner now the uh, the front door is glass so that's not an awful lot of use perhaps in a desert but you know a reasonable amount of desertification is okay now one of the ideas I had previously because one of um, one of Yuki's sims is a writer, or is interested in writing. Um, I wanted to make this kind of library house, but I just couldn't find a way of making it affordable for a starter. Um, so th these, this kind of <laughs> slightly pathetic in comparison um, wall of books is, is my nod to that initial idea. I quite like those spacey letters, but it ended up looking more like a frat house or something. So got rid of those in the end. Just finding different things to decorate and then I think I end up finding another bookshelf to <laughs> to put. There There we go, we're onto the bookshelves again. Gives it a little theme. Another thing I quite like using is uh, plants. Fairly obvious maybe, but those, those big planters are quite cheap actually, so I, I'd advise looking out for them. Uh, big conical with a fern in it. It's quite, quite useful indeed. I hope I've got some doors in at some point. I'm sure I do. There we go. Okay, and then this is going to be the kitchen. I decided actually for a change not to actually use the, like, the worst um, items for the kitchen. So if you want to download this, your sims will not be horribly unhappy at the state of the fridge. And that's because the building is dense enough and like not 
tall, which would be expensive and stuff. It, it's just saving money on the actual building so that the contents can be a little bit nicer. I'm a bit of trouble with this um, with this half wall. Can you see how the top of it is a funny colour? That kind of real pale blue. I can't work it out. I think it's the lighting um, the lighting system in The Sims somehow has worked out that it should be a funny colour. ends up being less noticeable as we go along. I wonder if those walls that I've put in, the panels, the, the white panels, have got a little bit of a glow coming from them. So I wonder if because of that, that's messing with the uh, with the half wall. Not entirely sure. So this is effectively an open plan kind of living area. So I've broken up the areas with tiles and wood just to look a bit different. This is quite a Star Wars-y um, colour palette. So kind of cream colour and white. The kind of place Luke would be, I suppose. Now the bedrooms, I wanted to be slightly themed around the colours that the Sims are th themed around. Yuki's Sims. So I've got a purple one and a blue one. The purple one, slightly inspired by maybe... Uh, maybe Queen Amidala or something. Um, royalty or maybe maybe more like the place that um, Senator Palpatine would live on Coruscant that kind of dark but modern splendor you know it can't be too fancy because it's the future um, so it can be quite cleanly designed but quite sumptuous still I mean this other bedroom is a bit fun it's uh, got these bubbly walls in it um, because this other character, Sophie, is is quite quite chirpy, a bit lazy, um, creative. And I imagine she'd quite like this <laughs> this bubbly room. I'm not entirely sure. Um, I couldn't go too overboard with decorating and giving them enough stuff to work with because there's a limit to the amount of money. I know I could cheat, but that's not the point. Uh, I want to make starter homes that people could actually, you know, use as starter homes. I do use cheats in The Sims. I just don't desperately enjoy using cheats for gameplay reasons. Um, because if you... I mean, it's, it, you know, I don't hold it against you if you do, by any means. But um, I feel that if you cheat to get money or, or free real estate, then that's kind of the point of the game is is lost then. The, the game is kind of getting by in life and if you cheat to get by in life then the point is kind of kind of lost. I think this is the um, moment where I start to realise that I'm over budget so <laughs> I try and work some different beds in. I chose these beds, these are quite fancy beds let me tell you, but they look perfect for the spacey theme. So I decided to keep the beds even though they're like two grand and lower some of the decorative items to be <laughs> a bit less expensive. Um, the, the bubble machines are actually fairly cheap. I might use them again. They need to be used in a particular context, uh, but they look quite nice. I imagine it would be a nice way to fall asleep of an evening. Now, you, you may have seen that I've used secret bookcase doors, one that leads into the bathroom, and one that leads out to the backyard. So with the backyard one, I just wanted to cover it with that trellis. So it looks secret from the outside as well. Still messing around trying to get this money right. I think I do spend a little bit of time trying to find the perfect combination of things. Ironically, then I move the whole lot to a desert place, <laughs> which I think is £500 cheaper anyway. So I think if you were to download this, um, then you could actually put £500 worth of extra stuff. It's 500 simoleons. I'm very sorry. I quite like that glowing wall, it was just too much in the context. I might try and use the glowing wall. I can't imagine what. I think I saw a you know, ice palace, kind of Elsa style frozen ice palace using blue glowing walls on, on the on the gallery. I've not actually downloaded it, not quite. I don't know quite what aesthetic I'm going for overall. Um, this is clearly not a, a natural, realistic thing. But I feel like it's, you know, space realism. 
in the style of like magic realism but in space like it's completely plausible even if it's you know extravagantly sci-fi you know what i mean yeah you know what i mean let's go with it it's fine try some gardening um these shrubs are fairly cheap i think they disappear before we actually move over move over to the desert I quite like that effect, it just ended up being slightly, slightly too expensive. So yes, I'm coming up towards the point where I'm going to move to the uh, few screenshots that I've got, a few moving screenshots. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed watching this video, if you have please like, please check out my gender update let's play series it's going quite well i'm gonna have another one up of those over the weekend this is going this video is going up on friday that's going to be the weekend so i hope to see you again and thanks for watching bye for now